Happy Monday afternoon and evening, depending on where you are in the country. Welcome to our second Fiery Embers today. And I'm going to say thank you for joining us for a second time, because I'm sure you were there at the first episode that we had with Adam Barker of Bolt Razor. Just a reminder that our Fiery Ember show is not a show about tips or tricks or plans to get you fitter, faster, or stronger. If that does happen, look, I apologize in advance. It's a bonus. Think of it that way. No, this show is to provide you with some laughs within training and racing by having a chat with everyday athletes about absurd and interesting things, such as is red velvet cake a real flavor or just plain chocolate cake dressed up to go to the prom? So today I'm going to be joined by Victor Lobato, whose Instagram description is lacking when it comes to who Victor really is, because I've talked with him before, um, but he is correct in when he states that running should be fun. So let's bring Victor onto the show and let's have some fun here on Fiery Embers. Hey, Victor, how are you, buddy? Doing good. Um, what about people, you? I'm, I'm so thrilled to have you on the show. I know we had a, a couple of delays because hurricanes and then travels abroad to Berlin and Chicago have kicked the can down the road a little bit for us. I'm thrilled to have you on board, man. Before we get started, for those of you listening, Victor is Brazilian and behind him, he has a light display with the colors of the Brazil flag in yellow, green, and blue. So this is, oh, and that's a tie. You have a tie there that has the Brazilian flag on it too? Uh, it's a sash from when I graduated from school they gave to us. So Oh, fantastic. How cool is that shit? Huh? Oh, this is awesome. So yeah. you got to answer that very first question, which is, is red velvet cake uh, a real flavor or is it just chocolate cake to go to the prom? Well, I ate any type of cake. So if you bring it to me for free, <laughs> I would say it's a cake. <laughs> it has to be free? <laughs> if it's overpriced, I may say, ah, oh, maybe not. <laughs> That's what red velvet flavor chocolate cake is, man. It's just overpriced chocolate cake. So then that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who are real red velvet chocolate fans, I get it. It's a real flavor. I understand. We're just having fun. Don't send us any hate mail, please. <laughs> All right, dude. So you go from Brazil to Florida and then just recently to Berlin and Chicago. So I want you to take me through the food journey. The best food you, ha you could possibly eat in Brazil is... Tough one. Brazil is big. Every region has a specific food, but let's go with Brazilian barbecue. Brazilian barbecue. So now yes. from Brazilian barbecue, I, I get on a plane and I land in Florida. And the best thing I'm going to eat in Florida is? Ooh, that's a tough one. Now you got me. Let's see. Can find some good tacos here. Some Mexican food. Brazilian barbecue tacos. We're going to skip Montana for right now. We'll talk about that later. And we're gonna head to Berlin. In Berlin, the best thing you ate was uh pork knuckle. Pork nachos? No knuckle. Oh, pork knuckle. Oh yes. very that's that's something that I wouldn't I'm guessing most Americans would not even think about eating. It's a hundred percent German and it's amazing. So do they boil it? Is it roasted? How is it prepared? They roast it and they make the fat really crispy that it's pretty good. Like a chicharron? If, if you're like me, that's a good one to, to go for. Is it like a chicharron? Kind of like that, but with a lot of meat and it's fatty. So Not good we... prior race. <laughs> <laughs> so then we leave Bra Berlin and we go to Chicago and what are we eating in Chicago? I think a lot of people would say pizza, but I'm going to go with popcorn. Uh, popcorn. Every time I'm in Chicago, when I see Garrett's popcorn, if I'm at the airport anywhere, I got to buy buckets and buckets and I finish in 30 minutes. I'm going to I'm gonna alienate the entire Chicago demographic right now. That is not pizza. That is tomato soup in a bread bowl. So let's, let's be clear on this now. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> That's true. <laughs> Almost the, no dough, just cheese. <laughs> that's it. It's it's nothing like pizza whatsoever. A, a, a New Yorker like myself would would never agree that Chicago is pizza. Probably not. It's a pie. <laughs> <laughs> so now take me to Montana, dude. Like the first time you told me you went, you had you went to Montana. You said you didn't even know Montana was a thing, and nope. you end up in Montana from Brazil and Florida, where obviously have warm weather. Now you're in the ice cold of Montana. What's the thing that you're like, yeah, I need to make sure I eat this when I'm in Montana? Well, first research I could do and then what my wife told me 
Montana has more cows than people, so you better bet that they have good steaks. So <laughs> that's a go for it. You're in Montana, you're not gonna go for seafood. You're not gonna go for fresh produce. You go for steak. What's accompanying your steak? Are we getting like mashed potatoes, broccoli? Mashed asparagus? potatoes, probably. Mashed potatoes would be good. That's awesome. By the way, for those of you who don't know Victor, he is a huge coffee fan. I got my cup of coffee here while we're on the show. I'm empty now. Oh, man. Oh, I man. Have, I need to make one. <laughs> I should have prepared you as a better host. <laughs> <laughs> You're an espresso fan, correct? I am. And on average, how many espressos a day are you consuming? I'm trying to hold off. Today, I think I started with four shots. Then I had two during lunchtime, and around three o'clock when I was bored at work, I had another two. So it's what, four, six, eight? <laughs> <laughs> but they were like light rolls, so it was good. <laughs> light rolls. Are you, are you drinking that? How soon before you run can you drink, can you have an espresso and, and not have any issues running? Uh, it has to be at least a 30 minutes. So usually I have after my run. <laughs> okay. Only if I wake up early enough, but got to wake up at four for that. So now nah, I pass. Po Post-run re post recovery drink espresso as, as recommended by Victor. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you just made an announcement today. You're going to be racing at the Houston Marathon in January. What do you expect to have happen down there? You know, Houston is hot and humid. Are those conditions that you'd be accustomed to from being, uh, you know, from being Brazilian and being in Florida? Mm -hmm. Well, probably not. It's like what I expect, to be honest, nothing. Everywhere I go, I never expect anything and something happens and it's so cool. But I think it's going to be a little cool because I, I was in Dallas January last this year. And it was kind of cold. It was in the low 50s there. So I expect it's going to be a really good uh, race day weather there. How long, uh, how far in advance are you getting a plan on getting to Houston? Because you got to go get tacos while you're there for sure. Is it, uh, is it, is it the thing in Houston tacos? Yeah. Houston has great uh, Tex-Mex tacos for sure. There's, I've been to a place there that sells uh, nopalitos. Uh, okay. Nopalitos tacos. Cause I, I, uh, I'm plant-based, so I don't I don't eat meat. Uh -huh. but, man, yeah. Nopalitos tacos in Houston are phenomenal. Definitely be oh, on the lookout. For those. Good, you know, my wife might be watching. I don't know if she's there yet, but she's gonna be right in there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get you. We need to strap a camera to you and just do a run for like coffee shops and food snacks. I've been you... thinking about that. I've been riding down the coffee shops here in Lakeland and trying to make a run. I I have an idea for that for donuts. I have a couple laid out i've just gotta put in make an ex execution day favorite, your favorite donut is what the classic glazed one classic glazed yes nope so powdered powder where does powdered fall in the in the rankings goes last because i always make a mess and my clothes <laughs> are always gone especially if i'm at work my entire desk is gone so it has to be a classic glazed one you know how people wear bibs when they're eating lobster and, and yes. crab? you're gonna have to get you a bib for your powdered uh -huh. donuts and if you talk to somebody, all the powder is going to go in their face. So it's not a... <laughs> For those of you who, who have not read the story that Victor shared on our website at runtrymag.com, check it out. He has a philosophy, and I'm not going to uh, quote it verbatim here, but the philosophy is, you know, give everything a try and have fun. So one of the things we talked about were like the number of different jobs that you've done over the course of um, your lifetime. Like, what's one of the weirdest jobs that you've had that you're like, man, I just can't believe I did that? I was a uh, university mascot at some point. That was uh, one I would never think I would be. And it was pretty hot in that the tiger costume, I would say, with the little fan that they put inside. It was totally broke. And it was <laughs> early fall, so it was hot. It was uh, For a football game? It was actually a soccer game. If it was a football, it was going to take three and a half hours. I was going to pass out. I'll say, <laughs> I'll probably say yes because I was going to be excited, but probably not a good idea. <laughs> like, where does that where does that thinking come from that you're like, man, I'm just going to give it a try and have fun. Let's go see what happens. I mean, I don't have anything to lose. I was thinking that it's like everything. If I don't know anything, I'm going to learn something from that. If somebody asks me again, I'll be able to say, oh, yeah, that was fun. That, I'm not going to do that again. 
Same thing. I think I told you last time when I was a flag football referee. Never played football in my life. Didn't know anything. I was just getting the wellness in it in college. And somebody asked me if I wanted. Like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you can't imagine how a mess that was. But it was yeah, fun. Did you even, like, did you have a chance to read the rules? Or did you even know what the rules were? Nope. They told me, like, uh, 20 minutes they needed somebody. I was like, let's go. Let's make it fun. Let's make make sure all the players, they know I don't know anything. We're having <laughs> fun here. And then, and I even made it to the championship. I was the ref for the championship. So it was good. <laughs> wow. Was it uh, little kids or, like, young adults? Uh, college students. Uh, did anybody get yell? Was anybody yelling at you, getting in your face? Not really. I think they felt sorry when they saw me. They're like, okay, I'm going to help you out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So it's getting dark real fast these days. You know, we've entered into fall, um, which means it's the holiday season. So pumpkin spice or apple cider, which do you prefer? As a Brazilian, we don't have any of those. But <laughs> pumpkin spice, I would say it's my favorite. I got to always have it. So what do you have in Brazil? What do you what would you drink on a cold day in Brazil besides coffee and espresso? I get that. Well, where I'm from, it's always summer, so that is no cold day. That is a rainy day, and then you have coffee or tea, or maybe okay. a hot chocolate. Oh, hot chocolate? Yeah, sometimes. But are more, you putting mostly coffee? On your hot chocolate, do you put marshmallows or do you put whipped cream or both? Whipped cream. Not a huge fan of marshmallows. If you put it, if it's there, I'm gonna have it, but it's not gonna be my own choice. What about in your cereal, like uh, Lucky Charms? Are you eating the marshmallows in the Lucky Charms cereal? I eat it. <laughs> Molly's probably laughing because she, I say that it's the most American thing, eat a cereal. So yeah. She's probably laughing on that. It absolutely so, is. Like, you know, you see people from other countries and they wonder why we eat dessert in the U.S. for breakfast, right? Yes. Like, everything <laughs> is super sweet. There's no savory mm -hmm. for breakfast, right? But it's good. Sometimes we like to do a cereal day here and we just eat cereal the entire afternoon. So. <laughs> What's your favorite cereal? Lucky Charms, probably. <laughs> right, there was a moment Fruit Loops were my favorite, but then I passed that bridge already. <laughs> You've moved on to, to... I moved on, yeah. Lucky Charms. Yeah. Captain Crunch. I'm a Captain Crunch with berries guy. I need... I need yeah, it's so good. I like their peanut butter one. Yeah. And I, I love cereal, dude. Like, I can eat cereal all the time. Yes. Um, I get laughed at because my favorite cereal is Raisin Bran, which sounds like, you know, an uh -huh. 80 year old man, right? Maybe a hundred. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but I've liked Raisin Bran since I was a kid. Like it's, it, it's not because I'm 50 now. It's I've just always liked Raisin Bran. Always one of my favorites. Let me ask you a question now. So if you like that, do you like uh, carrot cake a lot? Love carrot cake. I knew that. I knew. Love it. Here and at home, it's say carrot cake's not a cake. No, carrot cake is a cake, and it's even better when it has raisins in it. The best. Try the Brazilian one. You're going to like it. Okay. I'm going to have to go find a Brazilian. I live in L.A. now, so I can go find I'm sure there's a Brazilian market easy. around here. Yeah, easy. I can send you the recipe. It's really easy. Like the it. recipe assumes I'm going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, because I, I love to cook, but baking for me is out, Like because it requires a lot of science, and I'd rather just throw shit in a pan and, and heat it up. I like to create things, but baking, I got to put the right measurement and then it's always bad. Yeah, not, not my thing as well. A hundred percent. What's your favorite thing to cook? I like to make a lasagna. I like to make a lot of lasagna. I like to create my own event. Probably if Italian, somebody from Italy see the way I make it, they're going to have a heart attack that I'm killing the entire culture, but I always try to create things. I like to make roast steak. I like to make pies. I, it depends. Sometimes on my, not long ago, I was on my sourdough time, my sourdough era, let's say. <laughs> now I moved on, but and then, but I will get back at some point. I like to make pizza a lot. So, did you use a bread maker when you made the sourdough, or did you freeform it into a loaf pan? Uh, I made all from scratch by myself. Yeah. Oh, dude, it must have tasted so good. Yes. I have this starter. It's been there for about two years. My first one, I let it die, and then I had to remake the culture again. And, but it's still alive there. Still alive. Uh, when you when you slice up the sourdough, what are you putting on top of it? Butter, straight plain, nothing on it. What are you going with? If it, usually I make chew the first loaf, fresh baked. We always do right away. We just put butter melts in the 
on the bread and we just eat that. It's like crazy. It goes by quick, by 10 minutes, maybe we finish the bread. <laughs> Below. Every person who's listening to this right now is wondering, is my bakery open? Because I need to go get some sourdough bread right now for sure. Oh, yeah. Like, Very good. Bread is my love language. I love it all. Um, sourdough. I'm a huge fan of rye bread, a huge fan of pumpernickel bread, uh -huh. like marble rye. I just love bread. Um, for me, when I lived in New York, I used to go and buy uh, a baguette on the, you know, in the bakery and mm -hmm. then just walk around with it. You just rip off a hunk yep. of eating because you're walking miles in New York for hours on end and you need the fuel. You need to stay strong while you're out there. When I went to Paris for the first time, that was my dream to do that. Get a baguette and walk through Paris eating my baguette. I have videos on Instagram on that, I think, and it was my dream. I was so happy. <laughs> yeah. Victor is my spirit animal. We're going to drink espresso all day long, eat donuts in between the espressos, and then just walk around stomping on baguettes through a, uh, while we're walking through the cities for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no better way to get to know places than eating. Just sit that's and it, eat. man. Like, food is the bridge to culture in my mind. Like, it's a yes. great way to get to know the area and to get to know the people, right? You go and talk to the restaurateurs, the people that are behind the counters. You get to know so much about the area when you're out there eating. Um, it brings people together. Like, if you sit down with a lot of people, my style is like we sit down in a restaurant. Probably restaurant owners are going to be mad right now, but I like to stay there for three hours. We talk, we have appetizers, we have the entire menu, keep eating, talking. It's like an event. It's just not sit 30 minutes out. No. Uh, yeah, don't rush me out of the restaurant. I want to sit, I want to talk to the waiter, the waitress, the I want to talk to the um, the cook, if I can, if I can get the cook out from behind, you know, out of the kitchen for a moment, if it's not too busy, like I want to talk to them. Yeah. Um, I it's just to your point, it's an event and it's a, mm -hmm. it's an awesome experience. Yeah. I'm one of those people who says, you know, um, it's not that I run out of seats at the table. We just need to bigger, build a bigger table. Let's just keep bringing people and having mm -hmm. conversations. And I don't mind to squeeze in and bring more people. If they That's it. That's it. Let's stay on the food subject for now. I have a package of cookies over here that I've been nibbling on ginger snaps. Oh, wow. Here are your four choices for cookies. The three of them have to go. You can only eat one of them for the rest of your life. Oreos, Nutter Butter, Fig Newtons, or, excuse me, Nilla Wafers. Uh, what I'll is the first one again? Or I'm going to add a fifth Oreos, one. right? Oh, I'm going to go for Oreos. Nutter Butter's out. Fig Newtons are out. Uh, Nilla Wafers are out. What about Chips Ahoy? That stuff. When I was in college, that poor college kid that didn't have much money, but I wanted a sweet, buy that baby and eat the entire package in 10 minutes. <laughs> That's me. With the chunky chocolate. So good, right? Yeah. Chocolate we avoid chocolate. to buy cookies at home because... Uh, my wife is mature enough to say, I'm going to have one and be done. Me, I'm not going to rest until the baby is empty. Same, dude. Like, you bring that package of Oreos in the house that has the three rows. Mm -hmm. Within three days, it's gone. Like, yeah. there's no chance it's hanging around more than three days. One row a day. That's how I measure myself. It was just Halloween. So, we have so much candy that it's like, a, I think the last the weekend I ate so much that I, I don't know what to do with that anymore. I don't want to see the candy. What's the candy that's in that package that you're like, yeah, I'm never going to eat that just because you don't like it, which is the one you're never going to eat. What is, what is the name? I forgot the name right now. That is a Tosis. Is it the name? Oh, Tootsie Rolls. Yeah. Tootsie Rolls. That one, I'm not going to have it. <laughs> and candy corn. Is it the name? That one, it's just, so we're saving for next year for the kids again. They won't know the difference between candy corn no. board fresh and candy corn board a year ago. Yes. It's probably been here for five years if I had to guess. <laughs> they never won as well. <laughs> Tootsie rolls are they're so hard, like you're afraid you're gonna lose a tooth from eating. Yes, them. I'm afraid. <laughs> which which is the one that if there's only one left, you're looking at your wife and you're like, I will tackle you because that one is mine. Reese's. If that <laughs> is a Reese or the uh cooks and cream Hershey's, but she doesn't like it all, so it's better for me because I go well, and I can eat several <laughs> i love it chocolate chip cookie or oatmeal raisin cookie which one are you choosing oatmeal raisin it's not a cookie it's more like a health 
healthy <laughs> dessert. Let's go with that. If it has raisins and oatmeal, it's healthy, I'd say. It's more carb loading thing. So I'd say chocolate chip. I feel attacked. I love oatmeal raisins. Do I like it? I love it, but <laughs> <laughs> but that's my thought. If you bring me both, I will eat both. I'm not gonna pick any. All right, so now you have the regular chocolate chip cookie and you have the chocolate chocolate chip cookie. Which one is getting thrown in the garbage? I will give the regular chocolate chip. To, to, is there such a thing as too much chocolate? Um, if you ever try Brazilian desserts, you're going to say yes. We're heavy <laughs> on chocolate and sweet condensed milk. So, oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to say yes. Are you a fan of uh, movies and TV shows? Yes, let's go with that. I'm not a huge TV guy, but I do watch. All right, so what's your favorite movie then? For a kid that was born in Brazil, I mentioned to you once, any Adam Sandler movie. If I'm sad, if I'm happy, if I watch that, my energy is going to go to skyrocketing. Unless it's click, that I will cry at the end. Hey. <laughs> All right, what about TV shows? What's a TV show you, you love watching? Lately, we've been watching Paramount Plus uh, Neighborhood. I love it. Oh, I don't know that one. You should. It's just like a sitcom, 30 minutes, and it's just my style. It's just uh, feel-good comedy. We've been watching Single Parents, which probably is very mm -hmm. similar. It's a 30-minute sitcom, dude. And I, I laugh from the moment the, the show comes on until they roll the credits. Like, I just cannot stop laughing. Oh, wow, yeah. Totally worth it. Those are the good ones. Yeah. Now they just thought I think season five. So I'm so happy that every Monday I have my episode because it <laughs> makes me feel happy when I watch that. Well, I'll make sure that we don't go over time. And so you could catch the show today. Fine. <laughs> uh, it's good if I'm talking with you. It's going to be on streaming. <laughs> I feel special then if that you're willing to interrupt your favorite uh, TV show for us. That's fine. At least I, I'm going to skip the commercial. So I'm good. <laughs> Are you a fan of brownies? I am. So are you going to go into the middle of the tray and get an ooey gooey piece? Or do you go to the edge of the tray and get a little bit of that edgy crust? Only if it's really ooey gooey, I go for that. But the middle? Yeah. That one that sticks on your teeth, that's the one I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, ice cream? Are you putting ice cream on top of your brownie? I can, but no, I like just the brownie. Not a, not a, it's not a must have. Not a must, but if I have, why not? But it's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't, I don't perceive you as saying no to much. Am I correct? You are. It's like, a, I don't, if you're giving me, bring a, if you bring me a flip flop with some cheese on the top, I'm going to say, let's eat it. Let's try this baby here. <laughs> it's hard to say no to cheese, dude, even if it's on a flip flop. Right. The cheese is cheese. You have a favorite cheese? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Yeah. I love manchego. Man, I, I love, love it as manchego. well. Yeah. It's just that was my childhood. Way I was born eating mozzarella, mozzarella, mozzarella. So every time I want, I grab a mozzarella. So is it a big Italian contingent in Brazil? Because you mentioned lasagna and yes. pizza and now mm -hmm. mozzarella. More south of the Brazil, it's big, big time. A lot of Brazil is actually a mix of so many countries and cultures. Yeah. That it's like you have food from everywhere, but that is a big contingent of Italians. So Japanese people, it's huge. Interesting. So, but but you didn't mention sushi once. Are you a sushi fan? I am. But that is a problem. I have to eat a lot to feel full. Yeah. So I'm more like a wholesale type of guy. <laughs> if you take me to uh fancy restaurant that it's just a uh, tiny uh, i will eat something after i probably order pizza or something <laughs> <laughs> the sushi was the appetizer and then you go home yeah i can eat a lot i can sit down and not eat a lot <laughs> i love it yeah dude i remember the first time we talked I, I when we got off the call i was like that dude has done so much stuff in his life and i think it's awesome that he just tries everything he's just willing to give stuff a try um and you're not afraid to fail, right? Like if you fail, it's just a learning lesson, correct? That's a learning lesson. But now I started being, let's say Instagram. I started just as having fun to keep motivated, me motivated. It feels that I create a little monster there and that I'm posting every time. I'm having fun. I'm improving my language skills. So I'm taking all the good things, positive things out of that. So I'm not afraid. I'm learning from that, you know? I love it like because, you know, a lot of people, they'll be afraid to post things because they're worried about 
perception or whether or not somebody actually likes it. But I don't get that feeling from you. I get the feeling like I'm going to put this together. You do you put reels up there and they're they're edited and they look mm-hmm. really really good. But I don't get this feeling that you're like, yeah, but I'm not going to post this because it's not perfect. You're like, I'm going to post it because I want to have fun. Yeah, if it's good or bad, I, of course, I want to keep a little standard. I'm, I'm a little picky on that. Like, a, let's say, an engineer mind, like a, things in place. But I know I'm not a professional. I'm doing that for fun. So it's fine. And and you get your wife involved in a lot of these videos too, right? I do. And so sur- not surprisingly, but she buys my crazy ideas and she has fun as well. Sometimes she says like, oh, I can't believe you're doing this and she starts laughing and then she's recording a video like throwing water at me or something. It's just fun. <laughs> when are we going to see her start to do more videos and, and reels? Got to ask her. Got to ask her. I, I'm Now that we're running finally one race together, I, we may do more runs together. So she's going to be more and more there. You see, the pressure is on. She's got to live up to the videos that you're putting together, man. Yep, she does. <laughs> she's going to be. But she does uh, comments in every reel, so she's the best. Yeah, the top she, one fan. She's fantastic. I, you know, she's been in a couple of the videos I've seen, and it's it's awesome to see that you guys get to share this love of running together. Um, have you gotten any comments from people that are like, "Man, this was so awesome! Thank you so much for doing it." I did. I actually started getting some. I got one. Uh, last Saturday, actually, that they said they really liked the video. And I was like, oh, that's good to know that some people like. It's not only me, you know. Yeah. I, it's good to th- see that it's growing. And there are some people that comment because they like it. I was like, oh, it, it's a feel-good thing. It is. And, it, dude, you do such a good job with them. I have so much fun when I see them coming up on my feed. I'm like, yeah, this is going to be good. And they're like, you know, 15, 20, 30 seconds. It's not like you're watching a movie yeah. for two and a half hours. Uh-huh. And then I, I had my first hater after berlin and my wife was laughing because i was celebrating like i got a hater so somebody likes it <laughs> <laughs> I like i even pinned the person's comment they're like there you go i like it. it's the best when you get somebody who's commenting that, that they're angry about what you did it's like you know how to use your thumbs and scroll by use them oh like i love that i'm like yeah that it's because it's working people like it that's right <laughs> All right, man. Last question for you. You've you've been kind enough with your time for almost 30 minutes. So last question. In the movie Mars, Matt Damon blasts off into outer space and he's in Mars and he grows potatoes and that's all he's eating for ages. What's the last meal you're going to eat before you get into the rocket ship with Matt Damon and blast off to only eat potatoes for the rest of your life? So many good things. That's tough. Uh, let's say I would have an acai bowl because I'm from the city in Brazil that exports the, all the acai you can ever have here in the U.S. comes from my hometown and I grew up having that. So Awesome. What's in it? Are you going to add other additional fruit, granola, or just straight, just the straight acai fruit? Hold yourself now. Be ready to be scared. I'm ready. Back home. It's only back home in my state. Even south of Brazil, they eat like it we eat here. But at home, you eat it with all sugar. It's not sweet. It's like a side for your food. Like uh, if it was rice, you have acai. So you're eating like a fried fish. You dump in the acai and you have it. Interesting. So- sounds disgusting, but that's how all the <laughs> native Brazilians, people there, grew- that grew up in that region, that's how we eat it there in the state. Dude, I have to go check this out. That sounds so interesting because here, obviously, as you know, it's all there's tons of sugar in it and extra fruit and everything else. I will send you that is this fun YouTuber that I think is from Malaysia. He went there and he tried all the possible foods. It's a really good video that he made it there. And it's, you can get an idea. We do eat sweet there, but like 80% of the people in the state, they eat that way. And if you put a little bit of sugar, no, I can't. (laughs) I'm out. (laughs) Yeah, I'm out. Victor, thank you so much for joining me on our Fiery (laughs) Ember show. This is a blast as always. We look forward to seeing your reels on Instagram. For those of you who uh, don't know, it's at V-I-I-C runs, R-U-N-S, at Vic runs, and that's two I's in Vic. So check them out. Follow along. Leave a hater comment. He seems to enjoy those. And, and I enjoy. I will see you and I will laugh when you're like, oh, you lost waste of your time saying that because I'm not going to change. <laughs> exactly. All right, Vic, we appreciate your time. We'll talk Thank to you, you soon, man. Thanks. Thank you so much.